first stop right now I'm on the Copa Airlines uh, flight leaving at 505 um, so stay tuned to find out where the final destination is it's not Panama but that's just the first stop so uh, we should be there in a no about an hour I think it's a pretty quick flight from Medellin um, check out the outside the sun hasn't come up yet Soon. Probably by the time we get in the air, the sun should be coming up. All right, so I'm about to just kick back, relax, and enjoy the flight. You know how I do. Um, like I said, it's going to be a quick one, and we should be there in no time. I got my friend right here from California. Super nice lady. Hola. Tú eres de California. No, yo nací en Colombia. Ah, pero vives Vive en California. ¿Hace cuánto tiempo? 45 años. Wow. California. No, no, no había nacido tú. <laughs> sí. Bueno, bueno. Sí, me gusta mucho California. Sí. sí. Yo también. Tiene muy buen clima. Sí. El uso de aparatos electrónicos aprobados de dimensiones grandes como computadoras portátiles pueden ser utilizados en estos momentos. El uso de teléfonos celulares y tabletas inteligentes es permitido durante todo el vuelo en modo avión o con la conexión celular deshabilitada. The use of large approved electronic devices is permitted at this time. Mobile phones, smartphones, and tablets can be used at all times in airplane mode or with the cellular connection disabled. O uso de dispositivos eletrônicos aprovados de grande.
Yo, YouTube, I just pulled up to the gate right here. I'm almost ready to give away the location. So, um, y'all get ready to find out where I'm headed to. Right now, I am in Panama City, Panama. I must say, I'm impressed with their airport. They have a lot more stores than I would expect. And they have a lot, quite a bit of restaurants. And it's very clean, very modern looking. So... Pretty impressed with the with the airport so far. So I'm gonna just wait a second, and then we should be boarding very very soon to my final, still secret destination. So I'm on flight number two right now. From Panama City Airport to my final destination for this trip. So, stay tuned, and we should be getting in the air very soon.
can't tell where I'm at yet. Take a look at this. That's right, guys. I am in Costa Rica. I'm at San Jose right now. And uh, I'm gonna be going to another city. Right now, we just got to customs, so gonna have to go through customs right now. And then I'll see what's next. Look at this crazy customs line. Yo, what's good, YouTube? I just landed and left the airport right now. I'm in like a private taxi. My boy right here, he's got the will for me. So pay, paying about 80 bucks uh, from uh, the airport in San Jose to go to Hako Beach. Um, my cousin says 70 is um, like one of the best prices he paid. So I definitely didn't want to pay him much more than that um <clears throat> so obviously guys just <clears throat> try to talk to the the drivers and see what you can do but um it seems like they have a, a very wide range of prices they're trying to charge but you know it is what it is you could also take the bus i think a taxi to the bus station would probably run you about 30 bucks and then you're looking at about uh, 15 to $20 bus ticket to go to Hako as well. So you're looking at about 50 bucks. So um, I just said, man, let me just get out there as soon as possible and uh, let the fun begin, you know. Um, but there, there are cheaper options, but um, today I'm just, I've been up all night. I'm just trying to ride out. And I hear also at the bus station sometimes, tickets are sold out for like a day or two so unless you book online it's not guaranteed so i didn't want to go over there and then find out all the t there was no tickets on the bus but it's all good man i am in costa rica right now um como se llama de este ciudad a, a la abuela a la abuela we are in a la abuela in camino por Haco beach uh cuantos minutos más o menos Una hora a 40 minutos, hora y 50, depende del tráfico. Listo. Uh, ¿Hay una autopista muy buena? No, no. Uh, <laughs> no do, ¿Solo no, dos? Normal. O, uno, ok. No. Ah, uh, bueno. ¿Y tú sabes que si yo puedo uh, arrendar uh, motos por allá? Sí. ¿Sí? En Jacob. Ah, uh, ok. Sí, allá. Ah, uh, bueno. I'll give you guys a little look around where I'm at. Just adjust my aperture. And we are on the road again. So, um, two flights today. Medellin to Panama and Panama to San Jose. It seems that the San Jose airport is not actually in San Jose. Like my man here just said, it is in a, another town kind of on the outskirts. But the flight in is beautiful, man. Um, <clears throat> some of the mountains you see and everything is really beautiful. And look at these roads. I'm pretty impressed already by the roads. They're quite a step up from Colombia. I'll say that much. But we're about to just enjoy our, our one and a half to two hour drive. It's a tad bit warmer out here than Colombia. Um, but it's not scorching hot, at least not yet. Yeah, I hear Hako is pretty hot. Uh, Hako is más caliente de acá. Sí. Cierto. Um, la playa. La playa. Bueno. Uh, vámonos. Hasta Eso. luego. <laughs> yeah, what's good, YouTube? Just made the Hako Beach. About to eat, man. It's been a long ass day of traveling so far. It's just only 12 o'clock, but uh, like a two hour ride in the taxi to get here. And um, yeah, my cousin's gonna be pulling up later. I met up with his boy, and we're just gonna have a bite to eat at this spot. What's this spot called? Hotel Oz. Hotel Oz, okay. 
what's up? Yeah, man. So you can check out the menu, see see the prices, drink prices. Okay, what do you usually get? I go to go say I do the chicken salad, Caesar salad. Okay. But I mean, they got. Yeah, yeah, they do. I, I see. All right, yeah, I'm gonna just pick something, and um, at this point, I really don't care. I'm just that hungry, so I'll let y'all know what I get, and y'all can check it out. And we'll be right back. All right, guys, I got my first plate of food in Costa Rica. Yo, YouTube. So I just finished that fish. That shit was bomb, y'all. I can't even lie. That mahi mahi was crazy, man. That was some good ass fish. Good eating down here in Hako Beach. I'm loving it so far. Um, I'm gonna have to do a video comparing it to Colombia though, because in a lot of ways they ain't got shit on Colombia, if you know what I'm saying. But it's still my first night. I haven't even gone out yet, so maybe my opinion will change. Um, it's a very like family friendly type of spot here, you know. Um, so it's a different vibe in the day. What I've been hearing is the vibe totally changes at night. So we're going to see about it, but I just got the keys to the condo that I'm going to be staying at. So let me got, let me give you guys a look around the condo. So this is the entrance. You know what I mean? You got a bedroom right off the entrance. So I think I might be taking this one. Uh, it's got a little seating. Nice little bed and a private balcony on this side. So you can see everything. That balcony right there, right here is also part of the apartment, but we'll get over there in a second. The beach is right there. You probably can't see it, but in the morning I'll show you. So we got this gigantic bedroom number one. All right. Nice, simple bathroom. You know, got the double doors. Open up into the dining room or the great room, whatever you want to call it. Cause it's also a living room over here on this side. So then the kitchen, super nice appliances, you know, very nice kitchen. Got the granite, the stove top, the microwave, everything you can need, a blender, coffee maker, I'm sure. Yep, yeah, there it is. This is like the main chill spot. Yeah, these are the other balconies over here. So, another balcony. The cool thing is, you can see the pool areas right here. That's one pool, then they got another pool over there. They got like a club in here, right there. They also have a casino right here. You can't see my finger, but right there. Um, got some seating out here, some benches. Sorry for the darkness, um, but you'll be seeing more of it. So come over to this side. We got two more bedrooms. So this, I believe, is the master. Even though I feel like it's smaller than the one that uh, is in the front of the house. But it's, it's got a bigger bathroom for sure. So I think I'm going to let one of my bros have this one. So I'm the first one to get here. Got the safe and everything. These lights off. That one has a private uh, balcony overlooking the pool and everything. 
Got a um, of another bathroom here, you know, for the company. And uh, here's the last bedroom. And it's got its own bathroom over here. You know what I mean? Yeah, nice, simple. Nice, simple rooms. You know, this one opens up. I don't think this is a... Oh, so this one is... That's to the hallway outside. So this, this one's permanently locked. So, yeah. Let me know what you guys think about this. I guess I'll call it a condo, you know? I am the first one to get here waiting for um, my cousin to pull up a little bit later. He's on the late flight. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to give you guys a look around. This is a dope apartment. Dope, uh, this dope uh, condo situation we got going. Uh, Y'all let me know what you think. Uh, get off in the comments for sure. Let me know what y'all think about Hako Beach so far. If you've been here, what was your experience like? Um, I'm still um, new. You know what I mean? I got a lot to see, a lot to do. We're talking about doing some uh, deep sea fishing trip or uh possibly doing some zip lining and stuff like that so i got a few days here and no rush to to rush into anything so we i'm just taking it slow you know what i mean i feel like i haven't had a legit like vacay in a minute um but i'm a traveler so when i travel you know it's more like i like to be on the local type of thing um this trip was organized by my cousin so um he found he he's been to this spot already a few times, so he just invited me and I uh, accepted. it. So uh, happy to be here, happy to be in a new country, a new city, a new vibe. You feel me? Um, so yeah, I'm gonna be bringing y'all more content from Hako Beach, Costa Rica. Y'all better stay tuned to the channel, like, comment, subscribe to your boy, and that's what it is. You dig? HQ gang. Good morning to you. Good morning to you. I don't know what the fuck happened last night, but good morning to you. Hello, guys. And gals in the YouTube universe, check out the beautiful Hako Costa Rica. Um, it's like Hawaii vibes, you know, up the mountains, uh, filled with greenery. You got the beach, you know, people already surfing. And yeah, you just got a lot of shit going on over here. So I love it. Um, <sighs> I just need to go eat though. My cousin finally got here. He said there was an accident on the road that uh, comes here. And yes, sir. You ready? Yeah. But the mosquitoes don't. <laughs> oh, for real? You got that ox blood. <laughs> No, 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 she on her uh, walkie talkie. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? The cleaning staff hold up for your boy. You know, it's like that. They wash their clothes. Happy birthday to you. 
Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. No. <laughs> Naughty. <laughs> so let me get stuff to him. See him. That's why it's hard enough. So it's two things. I actually got in there earlier this week. Oh, really? Yeah. What was that? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's about 10 a.m. in Costa Rica here. Beautiful. About to eat breakfast. Right All right, we got breakfast. Coming in. Some eggs. Some uh, home potatoes. Some bacon, some ham. <laughs> this is the gringo breakfast. Um, <laughs> so, um, I just wanted to do a voiceover here and talk about this club that I went to in Hako um, and just sum it up for you guys. Like, this spot was lit. This was actually an after hour spot because everything there closes at 12 but man it was going down in there um, I had met this girl and you'll see her later in this video but she had the green dress on fine as fuck and um, I just linked hard with her we vibe real good and she was uh, out there from San Jose so she invited me to the after hours with her friends so I pulled up and um, I was happy I pulled up man we had a great time um, she was like just super gorgeous, man. Um, knew how to throw it back, had the, the body right, just beautiful lady. So anyway, yeah, she had like this weird friend that looked a lot older than she was because I think she was like early 20s, 21, 22, and I don't know, her friend looked like she was in her 30s. It was kind of weird. But anyway, um, had a great time uh, at this after hour spot, which was open to like 6. Um, so if anyone's familiar with Hako uh, lately, then you know that um, they have curfews and stuff like that. So she couldn't open her bottle, so I helped her out, and um, even, it was hard for me to open it, but I finally got it open, as you can see. Then um, we just turned up all night. Um, she was like, once I found her, I was like, uh, and she's not a working girl. She, she's like a bottle girl at some club in the city. She was just out there turning out for New Year's um, on her own. So, yeah, man, that was a great catch. Really changed my view on Costa Rica. Like, once I met her, I was, like, fucking with Costa Rica hard. <laughs> um, so, yeah, man, I hope you guys enjoyed this little clip. And, um, you know, I have more content coming from Costa Rica. But I just wanted to let you know that the club scene is popping. Um, over in Hako Beach, all right? So let's get those likes, comments, and subscribes all the way up. Um, tell a friend, tell a friend about my videos, man. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know your feedback in the comments, of course. As always, follow me on Instagram at kari.hq, and I'm out.